Struck at the door led to a brutal attack on the couple who lived there. The suspect's weapon of choice, a hatchet. This is Gates County, Saturday night, Hobbsville Road in the southeastern part of the county. Then in your sides, Andy Fox shows us how they fought off their attacker. Andy? Tom, we want to warn everyone that the video in this story is disturbing because the attacker used what is called a roofer's hammer or a drywall hammer. And it has a hammer on one end and a hatchet on the other side. And the suspect knocked on the door asking for money. The victim who has seen the suspect in the neighborhood before said he didn't have any. How about a phone, he asked. He did have that and let the suspect in. And it's then that the good deed nearly led to death. It was the worst nightmare I have ever had. This woman, who does not want to be identified, was called to her son's home in Hobbsville, North Carolina, after a home invasion that nearly left him dead. I went in, and all I saw, the kitchen chairs were dang on the floor. There was blood all in there. There was blood everywhere. Her son does not want to be identified. The wound severe enough to require staples in the head. He has a fractured skull, a slash in the forehead. He also has a broken foot. His girlfriend has swollen eyes from punches to the face. She has a gash on her forehead. The attack, vicious. I thought it was going to kill me. The victims don't want to talk about what happened. The Gates County Sheriff does. The victims knew their attacker. He knew him by his nickname, um, which he has tattooed on his arm, man. The victims immediately picked out 24-year-old James Justin Cross, who is still on the run. Right now he's on the run. If he's out there, and Justin, if you hear me, you need to come on down and see me, my friend. Sheriff Webb says Cross's long arrest record, results of drugs, and the new charges could put him away for life. Drugs at work here? When he, when he gets on drugs and he gets involved with narcotics or alcohol, um, he just gets plumb foolish. That's the only way I know to put it. He just he gets foolish. Scared. The victim's mother thought her son's girlfriend may die. All of a sudden, she went unconscious in talking to us by the time the rescue squad got here. And there was blood everywhere. He was bleeding at the back of his neck and his bleeding all over his head. The towel was saturated with blood. James Justin Cross is on the run and may be in Gloucester County. He is charged with two counts assault with a deadly weapon with the intent to kill, armed robbery and second degree kidnapping because he allegedly grabbed the female victim by her hair and dragged her into the other room. Neither of the victims has health insurance and remain at their home trying best they can to forget the nightmare that has changed them forever. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.